Uh, yes. I have been a community activist for since 1958, but I moved into Hal Park's uh, community in 1968. I have a property here, and I also have a, I had a business at this location as well. And me being a community person, all of these things has been happening to me since I've been a community person, trying to enhance the community. And I can explain all these pictures, all these pictures. And I can share with you how the neighbors can be vindictive, blocking my no parking zone for my clients when they leave the home. And the person she was married to, this fence you see here, black fence, divider at the driveway. He tried to knock that down. Police was called. Police informed him to cut the grass the other way instead of trying to knock that thing down. And this is when they used to violate my signs. I ended up buying new parking signs to put up. Because the space is only for one car. The sign, my sign is right there. But they were still parked there. And this is one of the vans dropping off and picking up the elderly person. And again, this is another picture when they used to violate my signs because they weren't supposed to park within eight feet of the driveway. In reality, I did not want those signs because all they do is just clutter up the neighborhood. But by them not respecting the other, clients, other signs, I had to end up doing what I had to do. And... My window was broken out on my car parked right beside my driveway. As you see up there, one of those pictures, police was called. This is around in 1909. And this picture that you see here is where the neighbor had taken two feet of my property. And I explained to her, me being an ex con general license ex contractor. I explained to her her house is two feet wider than my house and she could not put a driveway on this side and that's what was the difference. And after I informed her and brought it to her attention, she stopped speaking and we went to court, but the judge made her move that fence back. And this is what it looks like now, straight away. And the pictures that you see here a friend when he, or a husband, when they cut the grass, he would leave his grass in the street. Knowing my neighbors on both sides, realized I would always cut my grass and sweep up the, up the uh, cuttings. And this is what he would leave in front of my house. And one day I waited until he cleaned his sidewalk off, and I said to him, I said, sir, are you planning on cleaning this stuff from my driveway, and I make sure he had a witness. I hope the witness, if we ever go to court again, I hope the witness will come up and tell what he heard. But I had it. What he had responded from his porch, he had said to me, "Let the wind blow it away," and he ended up going into his house. And from that day forward, we don't say or talk or anything, anything. And here I'm trying to enhance the community and, and have to go through this. But I am passing the torch.